Dear colleagues, this is a crucial step. Yes, 35 billion euros to help stabilize a war-torn economy is no small feat. But the goal of this mechanism is not in the plan itself. It is in the implementation. The aggressor must not only lose, but also pay. Using immobilized Russian assets as a collateral is a bold statement, one that Russia should pay attention to. And now, with this mechanism in place, we must create a framework for seizing frozen Russian assets and impose sanctions not every six months, but until Russia withdraws from Ukraine entirely and pays reparations. We must not only provide financial help, but also confront the international dynamics that threaten Ukraine's sovereignty. At this time, Ukraine faces two nuclear powers as a warring parties on its soil. Reagan warned us, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We must safeguard Ukraine's freedom today, or we shall spend our lives recounting stories about what it was like when the nations were free. Thank you.